with most things in life, there is a way to get done what you need to do. Uh, you just have to have creativity and figure out how to do it. Years ago, uh, there was a man who lived in Thunder Bay that was a friend of mine. His name was Joe Day. And Joe Day was a, a very interesting person. He was very personable, very friendly. Uh, and uh, one of the unique things about Joe Day is that he had only one natural eye. He had a glass eye. And uh, uh, so he would joke about his glass eye. Sometimes I'd be walking with him down the street. We'd get to a corner at a building where there was a building on the corner. And he would say, wait, 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 just wait. And he'd take out his glass eye and hold it around the corner and say, okay, nobody's coming. We can go. And he would joke about his glass eye. Well, one day uh, Joe's car had transmission trouble and it would go in reverse but it wouldn't go in any of the forward gears so he called the transmission shop and they said they would fix it for him but the transmission shop was on the other side of Thunder Bay on the other side of the city well he's trying to figure out how to get it over there and the transmission shop told him well you have to hire a tow truck and get them to tow it over for you so he called the tow truck and I forget, but they were going to charge him over $100 to tow his car, I think, over to the transmission shop. And he decided that's an unnecessary bill. He doesn't have to pay somebody. He doesn't want to pay somebody over $100 to tow his car over to the other side of the city. So he decided he's just going to back it over. So he put it in reverse and he got out on uh, Arthur Street, one of the main streets in Thunder Bay. And uh, he headed over to the other side of the city to uh, go to the transmission shop and he said he just backed down the street but he said when he get to a red light it would freak everybody out because he said he knew he had to keep moving because he knew people were going to be calling the police and he has to keep moving or the police are going to catch up to him so he said when we got to a red light it would really freak people out because he'd back up to the red light and when the light turned green he'd back start backing across the intersection he said everybody else just stopped because they didn't know what he was doing they didn't know where he was going but he got it all the way across the city, got it to the transmission shop, no problem, and uh, got it fixed. So he saved himself over $100 on towing fees. There was a way to do it. There was a way to get it there. He just needed to be creative and be bold enough to back all the way across the city. So it worked.